Create a surface between two or more profile curves in Blender with the Loft Curves add-on. The shape can then be controlled by guide curves and or a sweep curve. In this short video, I'll walk you through installing the add-on, creating your first loft and show you where to find the main controls. First, installation is simple. Drag and drop the zip file into Blender 4.5 or later and you should be able to just click OK. Once enabled, the tools will appear in the end panel under Loft Curves. Let's create a quick loft. Add two Bezier curves and move them apart. Select both of these curves and press the M key to put them in a collection called Profiles. In the Add-on panel, set the Profiles collection to that collection. And then click Loft Curves. A new object called Loft Curve will appear in the Curves to Mesh collection. This is the surface generated between your curves. Although you start in the end panel, most of the real controls are on the New Objects Modifier tab. Here you can adjust offsets, subdivisions and other settings. I usually move the lofted surface slightly aside so I can still see and edit the original curves using the offset settings. You can also add guide curves. Create some new curves and move them into a guides collection and then snap their control points to some points on the profile curves. Note that the points must be snapped to a corresponding point on a profile curve. Once you select that guides collection in the modifier, the loft will follow the flow of these extra curves. You can specify a sweep curve either during creation or later in the modifier. This deforms the loft along another curve, perfect for tubes, rings or flowing shapes. The sweep curve can be open or closed. Cyclic curves like circles can also work. Try adding two circles in a collection, loft between them and you'll get a tube. To speed things up, I've also added helper objects. Under the Add menu, you can generate ready-made patches with profiles and guides. These are a quick way to experiment without having to set up everything manually. So that's the basics. Please play around with profiles, guides, sweep curves and helper objects. If you find bugs, odd behaviours or just have ideas, let me know in the comments or by emailing info at configurate.net. Thanks again for listening and I'll see you next time.